All right, what's up everyone? It's Sam from the 64 Wheels. I'm back with more die casts. Today, it is an awesome lineup of Hot Wheels Batmobile vehicles. This one I'm really excited for. This is the mainline new for 2021 Batmobile from the new Robert Pattinson, um, the Batman movie. This is such a, a unique and really killer looking Batmobile. So I'm looking forward to opening this. And then the other two are the Hot Wheels, I believe it's the proper scale is 150th scale, um, Super Friends Batmobile, and then the 1966 series uh, Batboat. So I'm really excited to open both of these. I I thought I had bought this a long time ago, but I didn't um, a couple years ago when it first came out So I'm excited to open that and this one I was having a little bit of trouble hunting down um, So I was lucky to come across this at a local target and then I snagged it up. So boom So I'm gonna open this one first. This is a really cool looking car um, This I would say this be this and the tumbler are probably the most um, unique takes on a Batmobile we've gotten recently. The others, like the 66 Batmobile, the Batman the Animated Series Batmobile, those look like classic like comic book Batmobiles almost, where this one um, is like a new, almost like a muscle car take on it. So uh, I've seen some like trailer or not, yeah, I guess it was a trailer, some like sneak peek photos of this and it looks really hardcore um, in real life. So when we look at the car from Hot Wheels, if you're looking for it, obviously, most of the like licensed car, whether it be Fast and the Furious or, or Spy Racers or anything like that, they always put something up in the left-hand corner to kind of signify like this is a, an extra licensed card. Um, so if you're looking for these, the best way to do it is you obviously just look down the center of the, uh, the peg and they'll be there. So I thought what I thought was interesting on this one is it has the new for 2021, and then it also has the first Hot Wheels appearance mark on it. And I don't remember seeing that on any of the other Hot Wheels I bought this year, so... I'm wondering if they did that because there's other castings called Batmobile. So I don't know if they're like signifying this is the uh, like a special like we've never re released this one before. I don't know. I'm not sure why this got an extra um, little bit on the card. So here is the back of it. If you want to pause it and read it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the designer is Bruce Wayne, which I think is kind of cool. So 2021 Gotham City. Um, Real, like, really awesome. It was just like the card art looks great on. So let's go ahead and pop this sucker open. Woo! Nice. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, let me, I'm gonna see if I can bump it up just a touch so you can see a little better. Man, this thing is killer. It's got a lot of detail on it. Um, now, since I haven't seen the movie, and I don't think anyone has, it hasn't come out yet, I don't exactly know all the details on it, so um, we're gonna go over them and then see if we're right when the movie comes out. But this thing looks killer. It is a satin black, like a flat gloss black. It looks like it has just like riveted on a huge wide body fender. Um, but to me, this car looks like it's based on a 68 to 70 Charger. Um, you can definitely tell the fast back there like it has a silhouette of a charger and when you look at it I brought the um, 70 off-road charger from fast and the furious you can definitely tell right there You can clearly tell that the roof line is from a charger So now the back of it, it's a little different, but you can still see like the window um, And even the front looks like the wide body like it almost looks uh, well, it's not exactly, but it's very close to the width of the um, off-road charger. And same thing here with the uh, Fast and Furious. This is the Fast 9 charger that just came out in the uh, premium packs. Like, it, very similar on the front end. And again, another roof line that looks very similar to a charger. So, it almost looks like this casting, this part of the casting was used for the back windows too because it's a little different. But, man, it looks cool. So, this thing has a lot of detail. So, let's take a look at it. It looks like... Um, either a V8 or a V10, uh, like a larger cylindered engine is sticking out of the back with, I mean, it, it looks like suspension. It's kind of hard to tell. There, the exhaust pipes are sticking out. It has like, um, triangle shaped brake lights. It has a third brake light up at the top because even Batman has to have a third brake light, obviously. Um, just a lot of detail. These almost looks like, uh, suspension towers that are coming out of the back for suspension travel. Like that's like almost like a Baja truck. Like that's what that reminds me of. Um, the front of it, I don't know what that is. Cause obviously that's the engine in the back, but I don't know what's going down the hood. Probably some crime fighting thing. Yeah, it almost looks like, like I could see like pulses or electronic, like almost like EMP stuff coming out of there. Cause that's what the vibe it's giving me. Cause it doesn't look like a traditional gun or 
engine so something probably pops out of it or it does something um, the front looks really rad it's kind of hard to tell but there you can see inside the grill it actually does have like a grill and almost like headlights back in there which is pretty cool again very like charger-esque um, it has big front bumperettes on it I don't know if those like come out and do something um, it would, we'll just have to watch the movie and see but this thing looks killer I like the body detail because it looks like they're riveted like the wide body is riveted on and then you can see there on both sides right there of the top of the hood those look like modern um, hood pins that a lot of the drift cars have so they really modernize it they kind of it, to me it looks like they took a charger and then turned it into a wide body like almost like urban assault vehicle so i do like the wheels they picked for it these gray um like aero disc style wheels i think they look good on it i don't remember what wheels it has in the trailer but i think they did a good job picking these for the hot wheel at least so then it looks like on the side like there's the bottom of it um the side like i thought these were side exit exhaust when i first looked at it but now i'm not so sure like it does look like an exhaust right there but it also could be like a step to get up in the car i don't know and it would make more sense since the engine is in the back that these would be the exhaust pipes rather than this so i don't know if this is something in the movie that pops out or does something but there you can see it has like some like a grid design on it so i don't know it looks like a traditional side like almost like a corvette or a viper exhaust or something but i don't know um the interior is chrome in this one it's really hard to get the detail because it is chrome so there's a lot of um shadows and bright spots but if this is when you need to pick up in real life to really appreciate the interior the interior is very detailed on this and really the back of it for a one dollar model it's very detailed so overall i'm pretty impressed with this car this would make a awesome premium um if they added more paint or details um some premium wheels this is a casting i look forward to seeing more of but let me know in the comments what you think of this um it, it, let me know also just what you think of it as a casting and then if you think this makes a good batmobile or not i kind of like it it looks good but again i don't know we'll have to wait for the movie and see how good it is actually like fighting crime but there it is the charger based batmobile from the new the batman movie so cool one down very nice of course it rolls good because uh, uh main line so boom okay i'm gonna do the since we just hit a batmobile i'm gonna do the boat next so this is the boat from the 1966 batman series if you've never seen it it's great it's really like hokey but it's so cool best batmobile ever the 66 batmobile and that's pretty much my all-time favorite mainline hot wheel i love the 66 batmobile it's just such a killer car and as a kid i wanted the 66 batmobile and hot wheel scale um i can't remember who made it corgi jr made it husky made it but that was never one i could get a hold of as a kid so when they released it in hot wheels in 2007 i was more than excited to get it so boom the bat boat uh they use it several times in the show they use it in the batman movie so this comes with a nice little trailer which is cool because they actually didn't put wheels or anything on it which is nice um it has little bat fins i don't remember seeing the trailer in the show i don't remember the batmobile actually towing it ever but i do remember the bat boat in the movie so they got little bat spinners on the wheels very nice i mean it's a nice trailer it's a nice little extra um because this has a little less detail than some of the cars like it doesn't have wheels obviously so it's cool that they included the trailer so man i really like this they nailed the paint color the detail the flames i always thought it was kind of cool and interesting that they added flames to this um because they could have went a lot of directions but they did add flames which is kind of cool um the real boat is based on a 60 i believe it's a 65 or 66 glass tron um 17 or 18 foot boat with heavy um fiberglass modifications canopies just like the 66 batmobile just a really cool looking boat i really like this i look for this boat in real life to try to make a clone like a 1-1 scale but they are incredibly hard to find so if you've got one for sale hit me up in the comments i'd like to chat man look at that that's cool it would be interesting to see if this floats it may um because it's it is is it two piece it is two piece so it looks like the top is separated from the bottom but it looks like as long as you kept the water line below the pinstripe it may float um let me know in the comments if you've had one or if you tried to make it float they're a little pricey they're like eight bucks 
Um, and I kind of, kind of want to keep mine nice, so I really don't want to put it in the water. So if somebody's already done it, let me know if it floats. But man, it's cool. I like the little light on the top too. Yep. Very cool. Very nicely detailed, even though it's a little bit larger scale. Like, so here it is next to the, that, well, I guess, actually to me, that's all, that's probably pretty close in real life. I don't know, a touch smaller on this scale, but not too bad. I like that. Sweet. Okay, let's go to the next one. The Super Friends Batmobile. I watched Super Friends as a kid. Um, also, it was like reruns or we'd like rent the video from the video store and it was the Super Friends and then there was different Batman ones like Batman and Scooby-Doo. That was one we watched a lot too. So this is a really cool looking car. To me, this one also looks like it was taken from the 66 Batmobile. Just look how angry it looks. Arr, like it looks like a combination between like the 19... 40s Batmobile I think it was or 30s and the 66 Batmobile with that kind of look so I like this one I don't think it's been made in any other scale Eagle Moss might have made this one um in one they made it what 143rd scale and then uh, the Super Friends Batmobile I believe I can't remember who made that um in the late 80s or, or early 80s and it was um different than this one so this is kind of a unique one. This one and Eagle Moss are probably the only ones I think you can buy. So I really like the detail on it. It's got the blue on the chrome bumper, the yellow lights, the black behind it. Uh, really nice like vintage looking wheels. They're six spoke. They don't have a lot of detail. The old Batman logo, that's almost the logo that's on the 66 Batman um, like suit. There it is right there, pretty close not the same it's got a nice detailed interior it's a black base with silver um, details it's got a steering wheel the fins are actually separate from the body so there you can see this is metal plastic and then these are plastic too so they give a little wiggle and then that kind of looks like also the 66 Batmobile um, but the 66 didn't have tail lights like that so this one's a little more street friendly or at least looks a little more street appearance than the actual 66 Batmobile. But I like the dimensions of this one and it'll display well, especially with the Bat Boat. And they do have this 66 Batmobile of this size. So cool. I like this. This is a good one. Let's see how it rolls. Ah, hey, it rolls pretty good, actually. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't make a, like a screech squeaky noise. So boom, it's a win. Yeet. Da -na 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 -na. Batman. Cool. Well, that was awesome. I like all three of these. I think we're a good success. Like, they're all nice gas things. They're all good quality. So if you're a Batman fan, they'll make a great addition to your Batman collection, especially if you like to collect the different generations or kind of going all down the row here. So awesome. Let me know what you think of the new Batmobile. If this floats in the comments or if you, you know, if you're a fan of Super Friends, how that one looks or if there's another version of that, let me know in the comments too. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at 64 Wheels. Uh, Lamely Group contributing writer at 64 wheels drive tribe i need to do both uh, more articles on both of those i've been really busy lately so i've actually been an extra in a movie that's filming uh pretty locally with my plymouth so that's been kind of exciting and when i can share more about that i will so in the meantime um like subscribe do all that good stuff oh look at that fly get out of here and then i'll see you in the next one thanks guys